Hey guys, Bearded Spider-Man 98 here. I'm going to do a, a little video on uh, my pursuit of uh, becoming a conductor at the railroad. And uh, I'm going to go over a little bit on the hiring process. Um, you know, because I've seen a lot of questions on the internet when I was researching it about, you know, how long does this take? How long does that take? How long should I wait for this, for a response? So hopefully I'll get around to, to answering some of those questions in this little rant. And uh, if you do have any more questions, just comment. And uh, I'll get around to answering them as, as quickly as I can. I check YouTube pretty often, so I should be able to answer them fairly quickly. Um, <clears throat> I got my little paper that I wrote down some points on that I'm going to go over. Um, I'm 25 years old. Um, I work construction, or I, I used to work construction, um, so remodels, framing, cabinet work, finish work. I just did it all, you know, I followed orders. Um, and on uh, July 7th of 2014, I applied for a conductor trainee position, um, and that's on the website. You're going to have to apply on the website. And, uh, and if you really want the job, you're going to be checking that website pretty regularly, you know, every day, a couple times a day, um, because you want to be the first, or at least pretty close to the first person to apply. Um, I can't really remember exactly, but I, but I remember there's a way to, uh, to get alerts, you know, like I, I signed up for these alert things on my phone for railroad jobs. So my phone alerted me as soon as the posting was posted, and I applied, you know, within 30 minutes of it popping up. So I was pretty quick on the draw. And that was uh, July 7th. My hiring session that I was invited to was on August 21st. So uh, a little over a month later was when my hiring session actually took place. I received the email um, pretty quickly after I, uh, after I applied, maybe it was like a couple weeks after I applied or something like that. So, uh, <clears throat> and that all depends, you know, that's, that varies between railroads and even within railroad hiring sessions, it varies. You know, I've heard of guys that, that have to go to a hiring session in a few days, you know, that's how much notice they had, but I had quite a bit of notice, so I was fortunate. Um, it was at a hotel in the city that I applied for. Um, you know, they rented out this big room, and, uh, there was a bunch of tables and chairs, and there was about 50 guys, and we all kind of filed in and just sat down wherever, and, uh, they had people from the railroad there from different crafts. They had a train master, a dispatcher, they had a couple of, uh, professional guys there, you know, big wigs, um, they had an HR person there, and, uh, and they kind of sat us down, let us get settled. Uh, it was at, it was in the morning, it was at 7 a.m. in the morning, um, and you can't be late. If you're late, they close the door and you you can't go in. So, uh, so make sure you show up, you know, 20 minutes early or something, grab a coffee, that's what I did, and, and just hang out, talk to some of the guys, get to know some of the guys, because you'll probably end up being in class with them. Um, first thing they did, uh, the railroad's big on safety, so they showed us an evacuation plan, you know, in case anything went down, that's how we're going to get out and stuff like that. They made sure everything was good um, with an emergency situation. And then after that, they kind of went into uh, to the PowerPoint. And it's uh, it was about 30 to 45 minutes long. And uh, they kind of go over, you know, the general stuff, pay, benefits, the lifestyle, a little bit of the, uh, the work you're doing. Um... And that's pretty cool, you know, and they have they had some guys there that were giving some personal advice and stuff, so that was pretty awesome getting to learn that stuff right away. Um, and that was August 21st. On uh, September 4th, 2014, um, I received an email saying, congratulations, uh, you've been offered a, a conditional offer of employment um, for your position. Um, and that kind of got the ball rolling, you know, that means 
the background check starts and uh, you're gonna have to go through some of the hoops um, and you have to go on the when you receive the email you know there'll be instructions in the email you're gonna have to uh, to go onto their website and uh, and change your status you know accept the offer pretty much you know you can either accept the offer or deny the offer um, obviously you're gonna wanna click accept and uh, then you're gonna start receiving emails uh, scheduling uh, your medical screening stuff like that and my medical screening was uh, on September 17 so I got the congratulations email September 4th September 17 uh, 13 days later I was going to my medical screening um, you know they they give you a phone number to call you schedule it show up early because mine was mine was walk in you know I'm I'm sure it's different between all railroads and all situations but but show up like even an hour early hour and a half early uh, because mine was walk in so my schedule time didn't really matter all that much um, show up early sign in and they'll they'll get you in just like any other medical office you know and they just kind of do simple things they check your blood pressure uh, they check your eyesight they do a hearing test you know, you sit in the room and and you put the headphones on and you got to click the thing with the with the little sounds and tones in your ears. And uh, that was about it. Then they let me go. Um, after that, um, I received a call. I believe it was from the railroad um, saying I need to schedule my physical capabilities test. You know, and um, and with that, just tell them you know you can you can get in as soon as they can get you in because you want to get you want to go through the hoops as fast as possible and get done before your start date so like my physical capabilities test was September 21st so I did my medical screening on the 17th on the 21st I was doing my physical capabilities test so we were going pretty pretty quick um, and you know you can look up what happens on the physical capabilities test you know, there's videos on it and stuff um, you know they're not checking to see how strong you are I mean obviously hopefully you can do the reps they want you to do because that would probably be pretty bad if you can't do it but uh, they're checking for consistency and the strength in your shoulders and your your arms and your knees and legs and stuff like that so so you know just give it your all um, push as hard as you can you know do your breathing everything um, and make sure you do good on it you know I conversed with the guy a little bit I was in a good mood um, and he was in a good mood you know even though he was working on a Sunday so um, and you just do a certain amount of reps um, for each arm and each leg and that was it and then they let you go um, after that uh, the background check is pretty much happening this whole time uh, mine went pretty smoothly. Uh, I was in the military, so I had to prove, you know, I had to show up, upload my DD-214. They'll give you a username and a code that you can use to get on their secure website or whatever. And uh, that's where you can kind of check the status of your background check. And, uh, you know, if you have any issues, feel free to call them. You know, don't hesitate to call and uh, ask questions. Because I called, you know, maybe ten times and was asking questions and, and stuff like that. Because... You know, we had a couple little mix-ups, but, but it's nothing that, that I couldn't clear up. Um, they are going to want proof of stuff, you know, so you are going to have to prove that you're in the military if you put that down. Um, they are going to call your employers, so don't surprise your bosses. You know, let your boss know that you're applying at the railroad, that you're going through the background check, and that he's going to get a call. Uh, and make sure he answers the call. Otherwise, you know, you're going to have to to upload W-2s and pay stubs and, and all this other stuff, which which just complicates things. You know, if you just have them answer the call, answer their questions, and it goes real smooth and real quick. Um, so then, October 1st, let's see, my my I received an email on September 24th, so three days after the physical capabilities test, saying, um, congratulations, you're medically qualified for the position. October 1st, I received an email saying, uh, congratulations, you've passed all of the pre-employment screening, you know, the hiring process, and um, and your, your job offer stands. So, 
and then they gave me a start date and uh and all of that so uh it, it went relatively quick all in all i applied july 7th um we'll just go over it real quick i applied july 7th i received uh my email a couple weeks later i went to the hiring session august 21st september 4th i received a congratulations email offering me the job um, september 17 i went to my medical screening september 21st i went to uh, my physical capabilities test september 24 i received an email saying i was medically qualified and um, october 1st i received a congratulations email and a start date and um, and, and pretty much am waiting to do the training now and, and starting to go learn the trade you know i'm i'm super excited to get down there and and start railroading you know it's it's a really good career the benefits you you can't match the benefits really anywhere else and the pay is good um, you know it's a lifestyle change but but if you're up for it you know and you can handle it i would definitely recommend getting into this field because it's it's awesome and it's not going to go anywhere you know there's always going to be railroad transportation freight movement um, so it's just it's just a good career to get into um, if you have any questions uh, like I said, just comment, and, and I'll answer them as quick as I can. Um, I will be doing more spider videos as well. Um, I'm going to order some, some new tees uh, from Kelly Swift um, probably tomorrow or Saturday. So I should be getting some new tees in. Um, so I'll, I'll do a uh, an unboxing video and a and a video review for Swift Inverts, and I've done business with him before. He's great, so I trust him 100%. Um, you know, he gives you what you want. Definitely, um, there's other inverts there. You know, you can get T's, you can get true spiders, you know, centipedes, scorpions. So he's got he's got a lot of uh, variety, um, and I would definitely recommend him. But but I'll do a an unboxing video and a little video review of of how he ships them and stuff like that. So. Um, you can look forward to that. Uh, and that's pretty much it for my rant. Um, I'll do some I'll also do some updates as soon as I start training and uh, and I'll give you uh, you know a little advice on on what the first day is like and, and stuff like that. you know, I'm pretty excited to start. Um, so like and subscribe guys. Um, and we'll definitely be coming out with some new videos. Uh, Bearded Spider-Man 98 signing off. And uh, you guys have a good one.